Where I work at hospital and in all of these old age homes where I also work, there are a lot of people who have Alzheimer's or dementias of one sort or another. Um, some of them are confused, some are agitated, some are lethargic, um, some have almost lost language. Um, but all of them, without exception, respond to music, uh, especially to old songs and songs they've once known. And, uh, and these seem to touch springs of memory and emotion, which may be completely inaccessible to them. And uh, it's most amazing to see people who are out of it and, and dull sort of um, suddenly respond to a music therapist and to a, a familiar song and, and first they will smile and then perhaps start to keep time and then they will join in and, and sort of regain that part, that time of their lives and that identity they had when they first heard the song. So it's, it's almost an amazing thing to see and, of course, to experience. And the, that sort of lucidity and pleasure uh, can last for you know, hours afterwards. A common thing in, in Alzheimer's is to lose one's memory for events uh, and really to lose one's autobiography, to lose one's personal memories. Uh, and they can't be accessed directly. But personal memories are embedded to some extent in things like music and especially in songs which one knew or which one learnt and especially songs one sang. And so the, the past which is not recoverable in any other way, can, uh, it, um, it's sort of embedded as if in amber in, in the music and uh, people can regain a sense of identity, at least, at least for a while. One doesn't have to be especially musical to respond to music, to recognize music, to react to music uh, emotionally. And um, virtually everyone does, and they will continue to do so despite a severe dementia. Um, and, uh, and in a severe dementia, one may have lost the power of language, one may have lost most of one's event memory, so one can remember very little of one's past, but one will always remember songs one has heard and sung and familiar music. And uh, music itself, will, um, uh, music, the parts of the brain which respond to music are very close to the parts of the brain concerned with memory and with emotion and mood. And the familiar songs will bring back memories which uh, uh, perhaps of when the music was originally heard, that it was an outing, it was something on Coney Island, the kids were there, and all this which has been lost in amnesia will come back and be, can be embedded in a familiar song and can come back. So really, um, I mean basically in amnesia, uh, whether or not it's with Alzheimer's, you lose your life, you've lost your past, you've lost your story, you've lost your identity to a considerable extent, and you can at least re get some feel of it and regain it for a little while uh, with familiar music.